Uh, well, now from around the world to out of this world. Now, we all know that Barbie has had uh, many different jobs, ballerina, vet, chef, even a beekeeper. Um, but uh, do you even know maybe space scientists could be an option? Dr Maggie Adrian pocock a British scientist and broadcaster, has been honoured with a one-of-a-kind Barbie doll in her likeness. It's a celebration of both International Women's Day and British Science Week. Well, the makers of the iconic doll wanted to recognise her achievements in making space and science accessible to girls, and I'm so excited to say that Dr Maggie joins us and the now. Doll. <laughs> and the doll. Good evening. I'm honestly so, so excited. I've been fangirling you for a very long time. And what a, what a better way to talk to you than... Talking about you getting your own Barbie, what was it like to get the call about that? When I got the call, uh, I was over the moon because um, my daughter and I, we play with Barbies because um, she's only 12. And so to, the idea of having my very own Barbie just blew my mind. Uh, growing up, there weren't sort of many Barbies that looked uh, like me. And so to have one that really looks like me is just quite, quite mind boggling. <laughs> And there is so... I mean, we've just had that story from Japan about them having to, to blow up their own rocket, Maggie. There is, it seems that every single week there's a huge story with regards to what's going on in the, in the space above us. It must be such an exciting time, yes, to have a Barbie named after you, but also to be coming on programmes like this to talk about something you're so passionate about. Yes, a space is um, it, it, it is out of this world, but more and more people are getting involved in space, and that's why this doll is so important. I think all kids, no matter what they're doing, should have a crazy dream. I dreamt of being a, a space scientist, and I became a space scientist against the odds. I want other kids to do that, and because the space industry is booming across the world, it's a great time to be a space scientist. There's so much going on. An, an absolute inspiration, particularly... At as a woman, as a woman of colour, but also you're dyslexic as well. There's a lot of people out there truly inspired by you, Dr Maggie. Thank you so much. It was just lovely to sort of be here with my doll. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great doll. I've got to say, um, CL is so happy that we've managed to squeeze you on the programme today. I'm sure you're aware the Prime Minister's been talking. We've had to change quite a few things around, Dr Maggie, but we got you on. Congratulations on the doll. Hopefully, when we get you on next time, we'll spend a bit more time with you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Bring your doll in. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs>